nobody involved seems to be able to think clearly, think rationally, think empirically. Tucker Carlson and The View go at it over information about the conflict and the facts. Here is what The View has to say about people that don't agree with them and speak up with facts. I don't think the ratings have dropped at all. And look, I, I, but I think that's an incredibly relevant question. And I think DOJ, in the same way that it is uh, setting up a task force to investigate oligarchs, should look into people who are Russian propagandists and shilling for Putin. That's being, if you are a foreign asset uh, to a dictator, it should be investigated. And in fact, I remember when Tulsi Gabbard, mm -hmm. and I even hate that we're discussing it because I think to myself, who is this woman? She's a, you know, she's no longer in Congress. She's a failed presidential candidate. Yeah. She only pr practically exists on Twitter. And the fact that we're giving her oxygen is what makes her relevant, that we're talking about her on hot topics. But on the other hand, how do you not call out something that is repeating mm -hmm. false Russian propaganda well, that has been brought down? Here is what Tucker has to say about the situation. You know, now, if you take three steps back, the problem with the debate that we're having over Ukraine and Russia, and particularly with biolabs in Ukraine, isn't that people disagree about what the facts are. It's that nobody involved seems to be able to think clearly, think rationally, think empirically. Everyone seems to have gone crazy, and that's bad because the people who have gone crazy are the ones making all of the decisions. So it's not really about this specific issue. It's about our leaders' capacity to lead. But the bioweapons story is just a perfect illustration. So we just talked to Tulsi Gabbard, who was denounced as treasonous and potentially a murderer by a sitting U.S. senator. Admittedly, it was Mitt Romney, but he spoke for many. Because she said, look, Toria Newland, Under Secretary of State, has said under oath there are biolabs in Ukraine. And the contents of those labs because it's a war zone, they haven't been secured, could wind up in the wrong hands. To which Tulsi Gabbard said, holy smokes, this is a big deal. I serve in the US Army, we don't want that. By the way, we know that bio labs can sometimes cause massive problems for the world. I think we've just seen that. So then, so that was Tulsi Gabbard's point. The New York Times was quick to denounce us for even talking about the subject. Oh, don't call them bioweapons. We never alleged the United States was making bioweapons. We don't know that. What we said is what's factually true, which is there are stores, we learned this from the US government, of Soviet era bioweapons in Ukraine that for some reason have not yet been destroyed. That's a huge problem, potentially. And the New York Times admitted that in their attack of us. Here's the quote, we'll just put it up. Mr. Pope, this is Robert Pope who runs the program, had warned that Russia's invasion of Ukraine may damage laboratories in the country that conduct research and disease surveillance and are supported by the United States. He noted that some of the facilities may contain pathogens once used for Soviet era bioweapons programs, but he emphasized the Ukrainian labs did not have the ability to manufacture bioweapons. Okay, well, we quoted him too. That's true and it's terrifying. And if we can't respond to it because everyone's afraid of being called a tool of a foreign country, people who are trying their very hardest with the greatest level of sincerity to protect the United States, then we have lost the threat. Then we can't lead the world. We can't even lead our own country if people like that are in charge. In my opinion, one side of the argument is calling for people to be investigated when they speak up and have facts that they are discussing. On the other hand, you have some reporters that present facts to you and have you think about how these facts lead us into certain situations. I always say that you should get as much information as possible about a subject before speaking on it and making a decision about it. I'm not asking you to pick a side, but I would recommend that you ask yourself, what does this person or side have to gain when speaking? I would also suggest that you be careful of people that use speaking bad about others as a defense for not listening to them. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.